hello guys welcome to today's lecture my name is Hadi uh, today I'm going to talk about arrays uh, in, in C++ actually there uh, we are going to use arrays for uh, instead of using uh, too many variables for example, if someone asks you to uh, take the 20 students age or 20 students name, uh, will you make the 20 variable? Of course not. We are going to use array to store so many variables. We are Instead of so many variables, we are going to use one array. Uh, we are going to uh, give a fixed value that it will uh, take the Mm, fixed value size of the uh, memory for example if someone asks you to take the age of 20 students we are going to use make an array of 20 size that's fixed uh, an array is a sequence of objects of same data type it will uh, store same data type values for example it will store 20 uh, integers or 100 uh, characters or 1000 floats so it should be same data type we have uh, we have another data structure which is uh, going to save uh, all as uh, all data types for example you can also make an array of uh, integers characters floats these things inside one data structure uh, we are going to talk later in the next lectures so array is a name given to consecutive following one after another memory location it can store multiple data items from the same time. The position of an element in an array is represented by an index value or subscript. In an array with n elements, the index values are from 0 to n minus 1. Where 0 represents the index value of first element and n minus 1 represents the index value of the last element. So declaration of arrays can be declared just like simple variable defining the name of array its type and the total number of elements how many elements you want to save inside your array when an array is declared a memory block with required number of location is reserved in the computer memory for storing the data so declaration of array first you are going to write the array type which which data you are going to store then array name then inside the bracket you are going to uh, mention the number of elements that you want to store okay for example here we have uh, integer type of array uh, its name is h and it's going to store 10 elements uh, more than one array can be declared on one line for example integer h of 10 elements uh, height is also integer type 10 elements names is also integer type and 20 here uh, here there was a mistake that uh, names cannot be integer uh, so uh, instead of that you are going to make a string data type um, I will show you in next lectures so mix declaration of variables with declaration of arrays you can also uh, declare array with a variable no matter for example here uh, you are going to declare integer i j then h which is array of 10 elements uh, inside a uh, memory when you declare a uh, array for example here your array is uh, has 10 elements its name is c from C0 up to C9, uh, it will uh, reserve 
the memory it's 10 elements so it's just for example here this C is an integer type it means the first uh, the first element which is 24 is saved inside C0 C0 will take just same as an uh, integer variable which was 4 byte then C1 is also 4 bytes, C2 is also 4 bytes, C3 is also 4 bytes number of elements will be multiplied by the uh, how much memory does that in that data type is going to reserve for example if it's integer type that's going to take 4 bytes each element will take 4 bytes so uh, here the array is, is uh, of 10 elements so 10 will be multiplied by 4 in total 40 bytes will be reserved for your array see name of an array index of array inside square brackets yeah this same as I mentioned before so types of arrays we have one dimensional which is called also linear array and two dimensional array linear array the collection of same data items which are stored either in rows or columns same this is an uh, array of integer type and it has six elements syntax of linear array data type array name constant size here is the same we have a char marks 13 and uh, in two dimensional array array having two dimension in two dimension array we consider vertical direction and horizontal direction in data type mm, name then row and columns here we are going to use two indexing for rows and columns this is an example of linear array uh, this is going to this is here uh, inside the main function uh, the data type is integer and its name is list and uh, uh, it has three elements so it will reserve 3 multiplied by 4 equals to 12 bytes of memory so in each index, index 0, we are going to save 10. In index 1, we are going to save 20. In index 2, we are going to save 30. If we display, just see out list 0 and list 1, list 2, they are going to be displayed. And this is another example. Uh, let's make our own example and just uh, compile it and run it. So here I'm going to use integer type, which is which has the name of age, and it's only uh, ten. It has ten elements. Uh, I can also assign the values just like age of index zero equals to twenty. It means uh, the first element is twenty, which is stored in the index zero and uh, then I can write h1 is going to be equals to 23 then h3 will be sorry 2 will be 21 so just same as that if I instead of writing 10 lines of code from 0 to 9 I can also make a for loop just, let's just write it here for loop uh, inside that I'm going to initialize the variable i equals to 0 it starts from 0 then i should be less than 10 which is uh, less than equal uh, less than 10 will be 9 which means from 0 to 9 then each time it should be incremented by 1 so what we are going to do we are going to assign some values but here I want to take the input from user so I say cn cn age 0 instead of uh, next time it should be 1 then it should be 2 it should be 3 so instead of 0 I am going to use i because each time i is uh, changed uh, and it's going to be incremented so here I'm using i as an index 
now I can check the values from user without using 10 lines of code and then 2 lines of code and I'm going to write a message for the user enter 10 students ages backslash and it will take for displaying I'm going to use for loop also for loop integer i integer i is equals to 0 from start from 0 uh, if I start from 1 what will happen let's see and I say less than 11 or less than equals to 10 you can use less than equals to 10 no matter what or same and each time it should be incremented by 1 then see out what we are going to display if I say age of uh, I if I say I what will be the output let's just see let's see what happens you can use an L or backslash N so let's just compile it and run it will start from index 1 up to index 10 let's see so in that 10 students age I'm going to start from 21 21 22 23 24 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. But it started from 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, up to 30, and the last one, which is 10. What's this? This is actually garbage value. Uh, in C, when you say my R is, when you say that my R is 10 element, it starts from index 0 up to 9. But here I used to start printing from 1 up to 10. I don't have any index of 10. In Java, it would be an error of uh, no values or out of bound, these things. But here in C++, you can also um, check the index 10. But there, the value that is going to be saved inside that, that would be a garbage value. So guys, uh, here I can just write i minus one. It means i minus one will be one minus one from zero. Then my two two minus one is one. Here this time it's going to be correct. So here I'm just giving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then nine, then eight, then seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, seven. That's the same as that. So guys, this was the uh, array. This is a uh, one-dimensional array. I can also uh, let's just make another program for two-dimensional array and uh, taking the values. So guys, uh, so guys, just let me write. Uh, just let me just check it, change it to change it to. Uh, multi-dimensional I'm just going to write it as 2 into 3 it means 2 rows and 3 columns and enter 3 students ages uh, sorry 6 students because 2 into 3 will be 6 and uh, I have to use uh, 2 for loop here 1 for loop for taking the uh, rows and then changing the rows and changing the columns here and to just look at the integer j equals to 0 up to j less than where this is 3 I'm going to use it as uh, 4 less than 4 and j plus, plus and here instead of 10 I'm going to use as 2 because it's 0 and 1 less than 2 will be 1 2 rows and 2 3 columns so here and instead of i uh, sorry I'm going to use j also I is the rows and J is the columns. This is going to just take the values. Let's just display also the values. Now here I'm just going to display. See out. See out. Age. Then backslash T. No backslash N. Backslash N. Let's see what happens. So, or you can use backslash T also. So let's see. 
I'm just quite composite. I'm giving six students ages three, four, five, six, as much as five. Want. Yeah. This is six values. And uh, oh, I think I made a mistake. Oh, I think, uh, oh, yeah, this is uh, zero to three, it means four. Oh, four and two. So, okay, okay, okay. I have to give some other values. Yeah. Now, two into four become eight. Eight values. So, guys, this was. Multi-dimensional array and uh, see you guys in the next lecture.